Enbridge has increased by more than 25% in the past year. Are more gains coming? Enbridge, trading under the symbol TSXENB, offers a generous dividend. However, the stock has seen a significant rise over the past year. Investors who missed the recent surge might be asking if Enbridge stock is still undervalued and worth buying now, especially for a self-directed tax-free savings account, TFSA, or Registered Retirement Savings Plan, RRSP, whether focused on income or total returns. Before we begin, this video is not an investment advice and must do your own diligence. However, with my experience investing for years, the content from this video has a solid research foundation. Check our patron on the description below for an inside members-only access on what are the best buys now. We will also update you on what to sell for gains or to avoid losses. Subscribe to our channel so you will never miss out. ENB Stock Enbridge is currently trading around $55 per share, compared to $43 in early October of last year. The stock is now approaching the 59 market reached in 2022, before rising interest rates in Canada and the United States caused a pullback in the energy infrastructure sector. Enbridge relies on debt to finance part of its growth plan, which includes a mix of acquisitions and development projects. The significant increase in interest rates during 2022 and much of 2023 raised borrowing costs. This impacts profits and can reduce the amount of cash available for distributions. Last fall, market sentiment shifted from concerns about rising rates to anticipation of rate cuts in 2024. Although it took longer than initially expected, the Bank of Canada and the U.S. Federal Reserve have begun lowering interest rates. More cuts are expected. With inflation now back within target levels, central banks are aiming to avoid a recession. If the economy experiences a soft landing, Enbridge's stock is likely to receive continued support throughout next year. Growth Enbridge is close to finalizing its $14 billion U.S. acquisition of three natural gas utility companies. These acquisitions will position Enbridge as the largest operator of natural gas utilities in the United States. Additionally, Enbridge is executing a $24 billion capital program aimed at generating new revenue and boosting cash flow over the next few years. The company's management is projecting growth in adjusted earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation, and amortization EBITDA, of 7 to 9 percent from 2023 to 2026, along with a 3 percent increase in distributable cash flow. As a result, investors can expect consistent growth in the dividend. Enbridge has increased its distribution for the past 29 consecutive years. Risks The newly completed Trans Mountain Pipeline in Canada is now competing with Enbridge's network to transport Canadian oil. This competition has shifted the situation for oil producers, who previously faced pipeline bottlenecks, but now have plenty of options to get their products to market. In response, Enbridge has lowered its toll rates to attract more volume, which will negatively affect its revenue moving forward. However, the company's recent acquisition of gas utilities and its large capital investment program should help balance out this decline. Meanwhile, markets have hit record highs, despite uncertainty surrounding the U.S. election, rising geopolitical risks, and the possibility of a recession next year. While share prices could rise further, it wouldn't be surprising to see a significant market-wide correction in the coming months. If that occurs, Enbridge stock is likely to follow market trends. Despite these factors, investors can expect steady increases in Enbridge's dividend. The company has raised its dividend payout every year for the past 29 years. Should you buy, hold, or sell ENB stock now? Income investors with a buy and hold outlook should be comfortable owning Enbridge at this price, even if it pulls back in the near term. The dividend yield is currently close to 6.7%, and dividend hikes are likely to be on the way. New investors focused more on total returns might want to take a half position and look to add on a dip. Existing owners of the stock who bought a year ago might even consider taking some profits with an eye to rebuilding the position on any correction. Give us a like if you like our video, subscribe and ring the bell to never miss out. Check our patron for an inside look on what are the best buy and sell stocks every week.